Hello, this is Flashworks Welcome Screen. We're going to first do a dwelling. And we're going to select a dwelling unit because you always use the smallest one first. And you'll notice we're going to go to File. And then we're going to go to Open. And we're going to open the sample project just to see what it looks like. So you click on Sample, go to Open. And you'll notice that all the boxes are checked off and it filled in the service data which is 240 volts single phase. Next you go to lighting, then check enter. And we want to look at what's entered so we say we do not want to remove the existing set. We check it out, looks good, say OK. Go to ranges and ovens, then enter. Look at the set, say no. Well, we got one range in there is 98. 100 volt amps, that's okay. We're going to go to dryers. Again, we go to enter. Again, we're going to look at it, say no. We got one dryer at 5,000 watts, that's okay. Heating and cooling, we go to enter. We're going to look at it again, say no. And you'll notice that there's a heat pump displayed. So it's unit number one, there's only one of them, so click unit one. It highlights. Then go over to heat pump detail, click that, and there's your details. The compressor is a motor, the outdoor fan is a motor, air handling unit fan is a motor, so enter M. The strip heat is just heat, so it's in there at 5kW. That's OK. Say OK once more. Now go to appliances, enter, look at what's entered. And as you see, it's highlighted. It says dishwasher. Notice the entries. It's a motor. The next one is disposer. And as you go down the list, they show what's been entered in the center column. We're happy with all of this. So we'll say OK. Now we notice uh, everything's checked off. See the instruction, gray menu bar, left to right, complete each section, enter service data. Program checks off all the boxes when we're all done. We want to go to File, and then we want to click Calculate. It's calculated. Notice we have both the standard and optional calculation. And they're shown below the size, the line loads, and the neutral loads. You say OK. Now you go back to File, and you want to go to Panel Size, as we want to size the panel. You get a warning notice. Click off those warnings. You go to the panel sizing screen, notice your service voltage and phase have been brought over, and we picked the panel for you. The standard size would be 150, optional is 125. We always default to the optional as it's cheaper. And you can do the main service and equipment side, so you actually do this twice. Do main service first, choose the wire size, we'll choose THHN. We look, here's the neutral load. 82 amps, and we do the con conductor and size conductors and conduit. That's going to tell us what we need. A warning is the neutral conductor current carrying? Let's say yes. And do you want to use the full size conductors? The answer is yes. Should the neutral conductor be made full size? You get the second question for aluminum. And you'll notice it's filled in. So it gives you the conduit, si the wire size and the conduit for PVC and rigid conduit. You're happy with this? Because this screen can change, we don't save it, but you can print it. Say OK to get out. Go back to the initial screen. Say File. Then you go to Save As. And you would save this file as the sample or name it in your own so you can come back to it. We're going to just cancel because it's already saved. And now we're going to close out. So we go to File. And we go to Exit. It takes us back and it says go to Return. See the drop down. Go back to the Welcome screen. And we're done.